So the problem that we identified was six in ten individuals worldwide that were not um, infected with HIV, but they did not want to know that they had HIV. The the key barriers to not um, showing up to test in he- in health facilities are stigma, discrimination, social visibility associated with an HIV diagnosis, um, long waiting times. And I was wanting to really look at it in the context of self testing, like you introduce it to fellow colleagues in HIV and you know they were divided like no you cannot allow them to test what about notification what about confidentiality you know what about this what about linkages so um, because it was a bold topic I wanted to do it because it was a challenge it it just inspired me to look at it even more if you sit in the patients like if you try and think from the patient's perspective you kind of come up with much more personalized strategy this is the Facebook generation. And the maximum HIV incidence has been reported across the world in this 15 to 24. Like the peaks are really found in this population. So that's when we decided, okay, we're going to uh, completely, you know, make it an anonymous self-testing program where all the data will be de-identified. It will be collected online and they will be allowed to test themselves. They will be empowered. They will feel empowered about testing themselves and they will click on the results themselves. You know, they will call the counselor. We'll give them. So we gave them the test. We gave them phones. We gave them a line which they could call directly. They could call a counselor, and we gave we directed them into a computer based uh, in a compu- into a room with with a computer and internet where we um, tested out our internet strategy. After completing our self testing evaluation in South Africa, that went really well. We found that all the self testers that were that self diagnosed themselves to be positive were able to call. They called the counselors and they called for confidential linkages, and they were arranged with the understanding and with the preferences tailored to the preferences of the patients. And all the negative pe- um, self test negative also called the counselors. So that was also very encouraging because linkage data is really poor in this field. If you can prove that it works for HIV, you've really handled the big one. And then there is a move towards offering it for, um, there could be a move towards offering it for hepatitis C because the oral hep C's are on the market. You could also um, think of any test that can be made really simple. There are non-invasive like anemia tests. I grew up in India and I've seen how um, if you want to get an article from the top tier journals like years ago, 10 years ago, you had to pay. And most of these most of the institutions did not have access to to the literature. Right. So you um, either had to request it from the libraries and it would take forever. So then you would lose the you know, you would lose the momentum of reading a paper that takes forever to land on your lap. The power of open access is, is obvious. Whenever my paper gets published, I get requests from all parts of the world, you know, like from Peru, from Brazil, from Singapore, from Malaysia, from all parts of the world. That's the beauty of, of research that it reaches out.